Hey guys, welcome back. So we're gonna continue on our journey of will pose or bridge, and this time opening up in your hip extension. Because again, we always wanna look at the problem, right? My low back is hurting, why is my low back hurting? Well, it could be that you don't have good hip extension. What happens a lot in will pose is that the legs start to fall into external rotation. Not that that's bad because it actually can help to relieve pressure into the low back if you don't have good hip extension. Oftentimes, the cue is to roll the knees in toward each other, but if you don't have adequate hip extension to allow that to happen, the pressure is gonna go all into the low back. So rather than forcing your body in a position that it is not ready for, let's prep the body for that proper position. So that's where hip extension becomes super important. And this is just everyday life too. This is walking, we need hip extension. This is running, this is, every activity that we do throughout our days and our lives, we need hip extension, it's super crucial. So this one I'm gonna show just a couple of my favorite stretches to really get around the hip. I don't think we realize how many muscles actually participate in hip extension as well in order for us to relieve and improve that hip extension. So we have a lot of hip flexors and in order to maximize that release of the hip flexors, we have to put them into extension. So we're gonna take those flexors, which include our psoas, our iliopsoas, and things like our TFL, which is right along here, things like our sartorius, which wrap and come up right here, things like our adductors, which are right in the middle and come up. So all of these muscles play a role in participating and maximizing hip extension from hip flexion, okay? So we're gonna keep this leg in back. So I'm gonna tuck my toe under. It just helps to maximize my, my tucking that tailbone under and squeezing, okay? You can keep it flat too if that's more comfortable for you, but it's an added bonus into that big toe stretch. So I'm gonna keep it tucked under. So here, I'm gonna take my hip bone and I'm gonna pull it down toward my rib cage. So my rib cage and my hip bone come toward each other as I squeeze my glute and tuck my tailbone under. So this is the first thing that you wanna be doing for any hip flexor stretch. Oftentimes we think for hip flexor stretching, I need to increase how far forward I can go. But what happens is that you're only opening right here and this muscle deep into the hip actually attaches into the low back. So we're actually bringing it closer together and we're maybe stretching um, a bit of our quad in the front, but we're not really getting deep into that psoas. So if we wanna get a little deeper, tuck that back toe under, squeeze that booty, bring that hip bone up toward the rib cage, and then we're gonna reach that same arm up toward the ceiling and then gently over, and you're just gonna breathe here. Now you can gently come forward, reach even more, maybe you even open up and go to the side. So you should feel that stretch coming around here, nice and deep, and you're just gonna breathe in here for 10 slow breaths. Opening up, and releasing. Great, so really to get into that hip extension, it just takes time to get into it again and again and again. Consistency is the key for everything. Now, if we wanna start tapping into a little bit on the outside, our TFL, a little bit on the inside, you can do that in standing. So for here, I'm just gonna let my foot fall in and then I'm gonna let it open out this way. So again, I'm gonna come in open and stretch so i can start to get into that tfl just a little bit maybe even into my sartorius a little bit use the wall for a little bit of support coming down and opening then i will just open to the other direction if i want to start to get into my adductor a little bit so now opening here allowing my hip to fall this way as i stretch open and then just let it come up so just coming down, leaning to the other side, allowing my hip to stretch and open, and then coming back out. Coming down and coming out. And that's gonna help to get all of these muscles that lead into the hip to relax a little bit, decrease tension, so that you can start to open up and really maximize that hip extension. 
Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. Don't forget to like and comment below to let me know what you think and subscribe so you don't miss any in the future.